Hey, so I'm in my garage. I'm gonna do a quick video about the F-Type. It's about to rain, so I'm not gonna drive anywhere, but I'm gonna do a video about some interesting things about it and some quality issues that I have about it. Okay, some cool things about the F-Type. Um, let me see, let's start with the exterior. Okay, so the door handles are flush. Like an Aston Martin. And when you press the button, they pop out. And at nighttime, I don't know if you can see the light there, it illuminates so you know where the handles are. And I wrapped this car without taking anything apart. Besides the mirror caps and the rear diffuser. Okay, let me show you the spoiler real quick. Um, okay, so the spoiler, can you see in the rear? So the spoiler comes up, um, when it reaches 70 miles per hour, and then it goes back down at 50 miles per hour. And if you didn't see, when I turn on the car, the air vent comes up. When I turn it off, the air vent goes hidden. That's one of the cool things about the car. Um, what else? Let me see. Okay, let me pop the hood. So a lot of people don't realize that this clamshell hood forward. Oh, okay, there we go. That's how the car opens. Or that's how the hood opens. What I can say is that, so I used to have a 2016 version. This is the 2020R. And um, this infotainment system is so much better. It's so much, so much more responsive. It's so much easier to use. It connects quickly with Bluetooth, with Apple CarPlay. Um, like I said in my other videos, like I, nowadays I really just plug in my iPhone and use Apple CarPlay and that's about like 90% of the time when I drive. It's not connected, that's why. But the system is so much better, so, so much better. See how responsive it is compared to the 2016 version? That was like trash. It was like a $90,000 car and I didn't even have backup camera. And just imagine the blind spot on this car is just crazy. And with this R, it comes in, I don't know if you can see in the mirror, there's a um, orange spot light there. That's because it has the um, blind spot monitor system. This car pretty much comes with all the safety features that you can get. Let me go back to the infotainment system, see how everything's really responsive. It's great. It's completely like an overhaul from from the, um, the previous version. It just looks more modern. They eliminated the buttons on the sides and now everything is touchscreen. It's great, it's responsive. I have the card for what, since November, so it's what, it's like four months, four, three, four months. I had two incidents that were like, kind of like a what the fuck moment. One time was that it's probably my fault for just maneuvering way too fast. So I was I was reversing and then um, I put it in drive right away and I think I was moving just way too fast for the computer. And so the screen just froze. The screen completely went black. And um, I had to stop the car and uh, turn it back on. And so everything was fine. Another another incident I had was that um, what was it? Oh, oh, I was playing. I was using Apple CarPlay. I think I removed the cord. I removed my phone or whatever, so it went to Bluetooth. And then something happened in between, and everything just all the sound just went completely off. I couldn't get I couldn't get the radio to play. I couldn't get the Apple CarPlay to play. I couldn't get anything to play. The navigation won't say anything. And so I was like, okay, well, I'm almost home, so I'm just gonna drive home. I turn off the car, and the next time I drove, everything reset it, and so it was back to normal. But, I mean, I get it. I get that Jaguar is not the most reliable cars. You know, Jaguar, Land Rover, their products are just, the quality is, is definitely questionable. But, um, I mean, besides that, I only have like, the, yeah, I only had two incidents so far with this car. The heated steering wheel definitely works on cold days. Never thought I needed it, thought it was just a gimmick, but no, this shit works. Oh, so the fixed panoramic roof, that was one of the must option that I wanted to get. Cause 
Without it, this car's interior feels pretty cramped. When you open it and let natural lights in, it definitely makes the interior seem bigger. It feels better and just more airy. I wanted um, a dash cam for sure with this car. I always have dash cams in all my cars because I don't trust these drivers out here. And so, um, I'll put the link in the below. It's really great. It comes, actually, it comes with the front camera and the back camera too, but I didn't install the back camera, which I think I should, because um, these drivers out here are questionable drivers. Here are some quality issues that I have with the car. Okay, so check this out. Oh, fuck. Okay, so see this part right here? See this part hanging? Mm-hmm. So, when I went to the dealership to look at the car, I asked them, what the hell is this? And they're basically like, there's nothing wrong. They check both sides. Nothing's wrong. No screws missing. That's just how the car is. And you know what? I believe them. Because over here, nothing. So what it is, is just, you know, that Jaguar Land Rover quality. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what it is. I mean, for a car that's MSRP at what, 110? This shouldn't happen. But you know what? That's just how the car was made. On the night that I drove home from the dealer, so I got out of Newport Beach, I drove home from the dealer, and it was pretty, it was pretty cold, and it was like nighttime already. There's like condensation or water spots within the headlights. Ever since that, it only happened one other time, but ever since then, I haven't noticed any other incidents that occurred like that. On hot days, I'm pretty sure it's just brake dust, but um, the brakes screech. And um, yeah, I don't know if it's supposed to do that. If you have this car, let me know. Comment below. What's your experience like? Another funny thing about this car is that, so it has one of the best stock sounding exhausts. When you lock the door and you lock it one more time and the alarm sound is like this teeny little uh, beep. Interesting. Yet, when you drive it, it growls. Huh. I had a friend who sat in the car and she thought this was, um, these were sunglasses. Um, she was like, what is this sunglasses button? And I was like, what girl? What? Sunglasses? No. This is for the sports exhaust. The annoying thing is that every time you turn on the car, it's deactivated, so you have to turn it on every time. Of course, you want to drive with the exhaust on all the time. And um, I just, it's one of those things that I have to turn on every single time I start the car. Besides the little issues I have here and there with the car, I'm so thankful and grateful for just being able to drive this car. Um, overall, I absolutely love this car. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe and until the next video.